Learn and play online. Today we're going to learn about improper fractions and mixed numbers. If you haven't already seen our video on proper and improper fractions, click on the link in the description box and watch that first, as the content in that video will help you understand the content in this one better. First, let's quickly recap what we know about improper fractions. Improper fractions have a numerator that is either equal to or greater than the denominator. Improper fractions represent a value that is greater than 1. Let's create a visual representation for this improper fraction, 5 halves. The numerator, 5, tells me that I have 5 equal parts of something. The denominator, 2, tells me that the whole to begin with was divided into halves, meaning there are 2 equal parts that make 1 whole. Let's use a donut to create our visual representation of 5 halves. Here is a whole donut. Now remember, we need to divide this donut into halves because our denominator says there needs to be two equal parts to make the whole. Our numerator though says that we have five of these halves, so let's add three more halves to make this right. Now you can see that we have all five halves of these donuts. How many donuts are there all together though? Well here you can see that we have two whole donuts. And here is half of a donut. So altogether, we have two and a half donuts. This number right here that we just created is what we call a mixed number. A mixed number is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. Also, from this example, you can see that five halves is the same as two and a half. Let's explore improper fractions and mixed numbers further with another example. Let's look at the fraction four thirds. We know that this is definitely an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. The numerator, 4, tells me that I have 4 equal parts of something. And the denominator, 3, tells me that the whole was divided into 3 equal parts. Here is what it would look like as a visual representation. You can see that there are 4 equal parts and that the whole was divided into thirds. So how can we represent this as a mixed number? Well, we can see that we have one whole circle and we have one third of a circle. So the mixed number is one and one third. We're going to do one more example together before you get a chance to draw visual representations and convert improper fractions into mixed numbers yourself. Here is the improper fraction seven quarters. If we break it down, the numerator seven tells us that we have seven equal parts of something. The denominator, four, tells us that the whole was divided into quarters. Instead of using a circle, we will use a square as a whole this time. It does not matter what picture or shape you use as long as you have the right amount of equal parts needed. This is what seven quarters looks like. To write seven quarters as a mixed number, we write down that we have one whole square and three quarters of a square. So seven quarters is the same as one and three quarters. It is now your turn to put what you have learned into practice. For each of the improper fractions on the screen, create a visual representation. Remember, it does not matter what shape you use as long as you have the right amount of equal parts needed. Then, use your drawings to write the mixed numbers. There will be a one minute timer so the answers are not revealed before you are ready. It may be a good idea to pause the video to give yourself more time to complete the task. Good luck!
Let's see if you got the answers right. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.